The Heisman Trophy is a dream of many, but a reality for only a select few. It has become the most significant individual trophy in all of college athletics. Tim Brown almost never had a chance to win one. At first, his mother was not in favor of him playing football, but once she learned how talented he was in high school, she accepted it. Brown's first collegiate play as a freshman was a disaster when he fumbled the opening kickoff of the 1984 season, and that turnover led to a Boilermaker field goal in a two-point Purdue win. But Brown would jump into the national consciousness as a junior in late 1986. Against USC, a five-loss Irish team came from behind to win, thanks to three long and spectacular plays by Brown, who would don the cover of Sports Illustrated's college football preview issue the next fall. Heisman trophies are not awarded, they are won. And Tim Brown went about winning his in week two of the 87 season against Michigan State, starting with a first quarter punt he fielded at his own 29. Brown cuts to the right, looking for a block. Tried to cut to the outside, cuts inside, 35, he gets the 40, he gets the 45, 50, down the sideline at the 40, he gets the 30, one man to beat 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Irish! That was Notre Dame's first punt return for a touchdown since 1973. After waiting 14 years to see one, fans needed only four plays to see another. The Irish put on a punt block, and Brown was supposed to bear catch. He did not. Brown to the 34, to the 35, cuts up field, gets to the 40, 45, he has the 50, down to the 40, 35, 30, 20, and the beat, down to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown again, Jimmy Brown. 66 yards. Brown's back-to-back -back punt returns for touchdowns made the score 19-0 in a 31-8 win. But much bigger than that, they made him the clear-cut frontrunner for a Heisman Trophy no one was able to take away. 77 days later, Brown joined an exclusive club already highlighted by blue and gold, growing from six to seven, more than any other school in college football history. Quarterback Angelo Bertelli won the award in 1943 despite playing in only six games. The Irish averaged more than 43 points per game until the Marines called Bertelli into military service in mid-season. Johnny Lujak, who took over for Bertelli, won it in 1947 after spending nearly three years in the Navy himself. Leon Hart became the second and last lineman to win the award when he won it in 1949. Hart was one of the final true two-way players once two platoon football came into existence and never played on a losing team at Notre Dame. Halfback John Latner won in 1953 in the second closest vote in Heisman history. Latner did not lead the Irish in rushing, passing, receiving, or scoring, but did set a record for all-purpose yards that stood until 1979. Paul Horning played quarterback, halfback, fullback, and safety on a team that went 2-8 in 1956 and remains the only player from a losing team ever to win the Heisman Trophy. Quarterback John Ewart became an upset winner in 1964, considering he missed most of his sophomore season due to injury and didn't play much at all as a junior. But Ewart did help take a 2-7 team to a 9-1 season. Then Tim Brown in 1987. He won the award that year running away, much like he did to would-be tacklers on that day in September against Michigan State. 